today I'm here to do a Jumpstart January video. This is going to be a tag video that I seen my boo spilling all the tea did. And I was like, okay, I didn't watch, but I wanted to um, look at the questions and then I'll go back and watch here. So, um, yeah, Jumpstart January, spread the love tag. So whoever wants to do this tag, please jump on and spread the love. Um, I haven't read the questions, so here we go. I love when I don't read the questions because then I can just, y'all can see my raw reaction. Number one, which YouTuber from your subscription list you most like to hit the bar with? Hmm. I think it would be Forest Rocks. I say Forest Rocks because when we was at the blackout, she was a little tipsy, but she was still partying. You know what I'm saying? She was still dancing. She wasn't falling all over. She wasn't belligerent, stuff like that. And I'm with that. I'm with a woman that can still be classy, drink, and have a good time. So, yeah, Forest Rocks. Um, number two, which YouTuber from your subscription list would you most likely go shopping with? shopping with hmm maybe some more love TV maybe yeah because like she 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 look like she can find some good deals and stuff like that so yeah or um if not some more love because she do like a lot of the makeup but even like Keisha Irvin from Color Me Pink, I would love to go shopping with her because she can go to a Goodwill and put a bomb ass outfit together and it wouldn't cost that much. Y'all know me, but I'm looking good on a budget. So, yeah, Color Me Pink. Number three, if you won a million dollars, what one YouTuber from your subscription list would you share it with and why? Hmm. I got so many people on my list. But I would have to probably split it with two people. And I'm just saying that because uh, and I'm going to explain why. Um, much love from KY and also my bro, my Capricorn twin, James Caldwell, because they can pay their medical bills and stuff like that. They've been going through and they both entrepreneurs and stuff like that. So they can start a business and keep that money going. So, yeah, James Caldwell and Much Love. I'm all about helping people pay their medical bills because that shit is expensive. And I know we all went through some medical issues, so I know how expensive that can be um, and stuff like that, how medicine can be and stuff like that. So, yeah. Number four, in the end, if it's the end of the world, your, your tablet, iPhone, computer, hmm, only access YouTube and you can you have 10 minutes to live. Whose videos from your subscription list would you watch? Um, it would have to be Ashley Miller. Um, because I get my life. Alexander Rogers and my cousin Mike B. I just live for their videos. I always watch their videos. So, yeah, I think it would be them and Lady Nika because Lady Nika gives me life. I like give it raw. So I it would have to be four people cause and I would just probably get them well five people because I would give all of them two minutes apiece because you know well Alexander Roger be doing them videos real quick, but I was just like have to see them just one last time. <laughs> so yeah, probably my fifth person since I'm giving everybody two minutes, maybe Squeaky Jones. I'm just saying. Um number five. Which YouTube couple from your subscription list would you most likely to vacation with? Where and why? Mm. YouTube couple probably will be Kev on stage and his wife. I, I cannot think of her name right now. But Kev on stage and his wife, when they do videos together, I love when they do videos together. They're a Christian couple, and they still like to have fun, and, you know, and my dude don't turn up like that. So, it, I would have to pick somebody that he can be cool with, and all of us would be able to be comfortable and stuff like that. Because I got turn up friends, and most of my YouTubers will turn up with me. But them that couple right there is grounded and 
it will balance me and my dude out well. I'm just saying. Because other than that, he'd be like, bitch, I'm over this. I'm ready to go home and play my game. Um, Let's see. Number six. Name a YouTuber from your subscription list you would want to switch shoes with for one day. Hmm. There's... Hmm. Who I would switch shoes with? Because it just seemed like it wouldn't be so hard. <laughs> it's um Starretta. Starretta Jenkins. I would switch jobs, I mean, you know, shoes with her because hell she just she's a mom just like I'm a mom and we deal with our kids. So it wouldn't be a stretch for me to do what she do or her do what I do because we're a mom. Um, yeah. So seven number seven. You're invited on a Jeopardy. Oh, you're invited on Jeopardy, on Jeopardy and can only bring one YouTuber from your subscription list. Who would you bring? I would have to bring Mikhail from the Scorpion show. Because it just seemed like he know all of like the old actress actresses who won awards when they won awards. And I would be dumb in that area, so yeah, it would have to be him. Um, number eight, which YouTuber from your subscriptions most needs a shout out? Hmm. I know so many. Octavia Dozer probably because she doesn't have a lot of um subscribers. Or either Natural Pole Sister. Like, I, I really enjoy their channels, so I would have to shout them out so everybody can know who they are. Um, natural post sister just like my little sister in my head and she's so goddamn supportive to everybody. If I look on my, when I wake up on my Facebook, I have a good five, six notifications from her. So, yeah, um, in October of those, she just wrote, cool. Um, number nine, you just left the club, you're walking down an alley and some scary characters start coming your way. Which YouTuber from your subscription list would you want there with you? It would have to be Squeaky because she's been in the military. I'm just saying. And you know what I'm saying? She got skills on fighting. So it would have to be her. I'm just saying. Like, she know how to fuck them up. Um, number 10. What YouTuber from your subscription list... Wait. What YouTuber from your subscription list... To you, oh, do you gain the most inspiration from? That was type wrong. Don't judge me. I'm just saying. Um, do I gain the most inspiration from Ashley Miller? It has to be Ashley because we both real consistent with our videos and putting them up right after the kind of the shows go off. Um, and that's who like and really inspired me to keep going. On YouTube was Ashley, like, even through my medical journeys, before my medical journeys, when I feel like, shit, I didn't want to go and talk to nobody, but her and even um, Scotty from Mr. Still Standing, because he was the first YouTuber to inspire me to keep going when he gave me a shout out, and he, to me, he was a big YouTuber to me. So, um, yeah, that's the questions. And I hope everybody jump in on this tag because I would want to know who you guys, YouTubers, that y'all watch and stuff like that. And maybe I can probably get on to some more YouTubers and stuff like that. But I hope nobody gets offended from these these answers because I love all my YouTubers. I'm supports everybody. You know, I hang with everybody. I don't give a damn. If I'm subscribed to you, I'll hang with you. So, um, yeah. I liked it this tag. Shout out to Spilling All the Tea. Make sure you guys check out his um, video and tell him I sent you. If you guys are not subscribed to his channel, please let him know that Miss Nika from the Ghetto View sent you to his channel because we are trying to spread the love. So I love you, boo. Anyway, um, I'm your girl, Miss Nika. Follow me on all social media sites by the Ghetto View, T H A, not T H E. This is your Spread the Love tag, Jumpstart January 2016. I'm just saying, um, happy birthday to all the Capricorns that's out there. I don't have nobody to shout out today. I'm surprised on a birthday, but give it a minute. I'll be back on shout out my family. <laughs> I'm just saying, because Capricorns just runs in my family. So, 
Y'all gonna always hear somebody saying it's my birthday or something like that. And I gotta find out because I know I got a subscriber birthday coming up on the 15th. So, yeah. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.